Good evening. Thank you for joining us. We have the details about the fire in Penfield. First, though, continuing coverage. Having access to a common pill to carry out an abortion for patients in New York might be at stake as two conflicting federal court cases determine if the FDA can continue to approve them. Alex Love spoke to people on both sides of the debate, and he joins us now in the newsroom to break down where things all stand now. Alex. So there's some confusion out there, Isabel. So the key things to know is one federal judge in Texas ruled on Friday that the FDA must suspend its approval of, me of mefepristone pills at the end of next week in all 50 states, arguing the agency didn't properly approve it 23 years ago. While in Washington state, a judge ruled 17 Democratic-led states, not including New York, can move forward expanding access to abortion pills. Anti-abortion activists like Michelle Sturlis, who's the executive director of Feminist Choosing Life of New York, hopes the ruling in Texas will stand so women seek new resources of support through pregnancies like what they offer. Services for victims of domestic violence and sex trafficking to maternity homes and soup kitchens. Referrals to every social service they need to bring their pregnancies to term, as well as tangible resources, cribs, diapers, referrals for adoption services. In his ruling, Judge Matthew Kaczmarek stated the pill, mefepristone, quote, resulted in many deaths and severe life-threatening adverse reactions, end quote, and the FDA rushed through their decision improperly to review it. However, data from the Food and Drug Administration shows only five patients per million users died from this pill since its approval in 2000 fewer than Viagra and penicillin. Representative Joe Morelli of Rochester claims this was politically motivated. He's injected his personal views um, and his beliefs about abortion to try to find a way to make this case successful. I believe in the end it won't. The Trump administration did nothing to stop the FDA and neither did George W. Bush. Mephipristone is only used to end a pregnancy up to 10 weeks in. But activists like Sturlis argue easier access to abortion could put certain women who are in dangerous situations having their abuse go unnoticed while drug companies profit off of their suffering. When women in the quiet and loneliness of a pharmacy, for example, or opening a package in a brown bag having been delivered to them, who will know whether this is a victim of domestic violence or sex trafficking and chemical abortions potentially lethal for women? With a conflicting ruling in Washington state complicating matters, state lawmakers like Assemblymember Harry Bronson assured what New York state passed last session will remain in effect. Prohibited uh, any criminal penalties for uh, folks who may come here from another state that has made abortion unlawful. We really should not allow a rogue judge to override a woman's choice. The ruling in Texas was not scheduled to go into effect until next Friday, but the Biden administration has appealed to buy some time in the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals to hear the case, which could send these cases to the Supreme Court eventually. Isabel? All right, thank you for breaking that all down for us, Alex. And Governor Kathy Hochul, Planned Parenthood, and Students for Life also releasing statements about these cases. And for their full responses, you can visit this article over at RochesterFirst.com. And new at 11, firefighters battling heavy flames at Pembroke Meadow Apartments in Penfield. They say that fire broke out around 6.30 tonight, adding the roof of at least one building has sustained se severe damage. No injuries have been reported. So this is uh, multiple townhouses that are all in one building, so there are going to be multiple families that are going to be displaced uh, because of the fire. But we were... Uh, lucky to be able to keep this kind of contained to just the one apartment building. And firefighters also say the investigation is still ongoing. As of right now, they are not sure what caused the fire.